Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 1, from the Amplified, as well as the Passion Translation, and it reads as follows. Whoever loves instruction and discipline loves knowledge, but he who hates reproof and correction is stupid. And the Passion Translation says, to learn the truth, you must long to be teachable, or you can despise correction and remain ignorant. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true in the life of a Christian? If we want to grow as Christians, to go to the next level, to go from strength to strength, from glory to glory, and from victory to victory, and everything that God has for us, we need to remain teachable. We need to desire to be teachable. We need to desire knowledge. We need to be able to accept correction and instruction and even discipline, family, because it is through these things. It is through being teachable. It is through receiving discipline and correction and instruction and all of these things that we are able to grow because through the process of going through that and learning these things, God grows, shapes, molds, and develops our character for us to be a better person, more usable by him for his kingdom, for his glory, and for whatever he needs to use us for, family. You see, family, it is through the process, the refining process of learning. It is through the refining process of discipline. It is through the refining process of instruction and correction that God is able to shape our character in this way. Because if he's not able to shape our character, we will remain more, we will remain worldly and those worldly characters taint us and flaw us to be able to be used by God. It makes it more difficult for God to use us because he cannot do through us what he has not yet done in us, family. And that is why it is imperative that we remain teachable, that we be willing to accept instruction and correction and even discipline when we need it, family. When we're going off the path, when we're straying off the path, when we're going down a path that is not for us, that God doesn't have for us. We need to be teachable and accept correction in these situations, family, be it through our Christian leaders, our pastors, whoever it is around us, family, the good and godly friends around you, if they truly care for you, if they truly love you, and they can see that you're going astray, they can see you going off on the wrong path, they will hopefully instruct you and teach you and encourage you and try to bring you back onto that path for me. That is why the Bible says, let iron sharpen iron. If we surround ourselves with good and godly Christian friends, they will help us in these situations. They'll give us the direction and the correction and the instruction and whatever we need. But the problem is if we receive that information, receive that instruction, even receive that discipline and we receive it and we're like, ah, no, you know, go away, leave me alone. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to go my own way. What's happening, family? We are resisting it. And then we see the latter portion of the scripture where it says, or you can despise correction and remain ignorant. And I love the way the Amplified Translation says, because it says, but he who hates reproof and correction is stupid. That's pretty heavy words, family, but that is the truth of the matter. If the Lord is using the Christian friends and family and leaders around us to help us onto the path that God has for us, and we are ignoring it and turning our backs on them and running away and resisting and even rebelling against it, family, it's saying there that we're being stupid, that we're remaining ignorant, that we will not grow. We will not go from strength to strength from, and from glory to glory. We will not be able to be used mightily by God. But if we want to be used by God, if we want to go from strength to strength, from glory to glory and from victory to victory, we need to be teachable and we need to be open to receiving correction, instruction and even discipline when necessary, family, so that God can grow, shape, mold, and develop, and transform us to be the people that he's created us to be, to do the wonderful things that he's called us to do. Because as I've said so many times in the series, there's no better place to be than in the perfect will of God for our lives, family. So I want to encourage you going forward. If you are one of these people that are resisting correction, that are resisting instruction and aren't teachable pray to the lord to help you to remove that heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh that's receptive to receive his instruction and his correction so that he can grow you and shape you and mold you and develop you to be the person that he's created you to be that you can be like clay in his hands instead of a rock that he's got to try and you know squeeze and break and it's just not going to work family we need to be clay that is in the hands of our creator to mold us to be whatever he wants us to be the masterpiece that he has created us to be and to do this we have to be teachable so i want to encourage you to be teachable and if you're struggling with it ask god to help you because he will help you if you just call out to him and ask family by his grace through his holy spirit living within you thank you family i hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought and before i end i'd just like to close in prayer Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word, Lord, and 
the instruction and correction and discipline even that we receive through your word, Lord. I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to be more and more teachable, Lord, to be more willing and open to accepting correction and discipline and instruction when we need to be, Lord, so that you can grow, so that through these things we can grow to be the people that you've created us to be so that we can do and accomplish that which you've set before us, Lord, for your kingdom and for your glory. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.